Clark. Who are you? All right. I just needed to know you weren't, uh, one of those things. Didn't want to freak you out, but I've been keeping my eye on you. Shit! That's one of them. It's close by. Anyone back the way you came? I don't know what's going on, but you better come with me. This way. Lucky I found you. The whole damn place was starting to feel like a ghost town. David, I work here. How long have you been in here? Why are you alone here anyhow? Everybody already left. You piss someone off? If you don't want to tell me, so, give it to me straight. You one of the miners in the cave-in? There was a collapse. Some miners got trapped, okay? They were brought to the sanatorium to recover. But things, well, best laid plans. Something changed with the miners. They went wild, like they were possessed, like turned into literal monsters. You've never seen anything like it. I wish I could blot it from my mind. We gotta keep moving. There were other survivors. They're not far. But just so you know, I got my eye on you. Stay near me, will you? We're almost to Bragg's office. Everybody else is holed up with Ted in the chapel. I'd be there too, but you know Bragg. It's always something with him. He had to go back, and Suzanne and I are his escorts. They should be waiting for me in his office. I came out here to scope it out. Watch your step. Take it nice and slow. I 
haven't seen any of the miners since the uh, incident. I still hear them, though. Mostly outside. I mean, I think it's them. Ugh. Gives me the chills every time. office is right down the hall. Bragg was not exactly pleased someone called in the cops. I guess he's worried they'll catch a whiff of something they ain't supposed to. Hearing about it's one thing. Seeing it, she was a good lady. Didn't deserve that. I hope when the police show up, they plug every last fucking miner they see. And here we are. Ed Honcho himself. Hey, uh, it's David. Can I come in? Brag, Suzanne, got another live one. I, uh, I'm glad you made it out in one piece. That's a bye. We thought you'd. Well, suffered the same fate as the others. About your uh, roommate? Yes, Gordon is a dear friend and colleague. One of our staff doctors. Not a patient. I'm sorry, but the deception was necessary. I needed to observe your progress as closely as possible. It was all in an effort to ensure your complete recovery. I know this is difficult, but can you tell me if any more memories have resurfaced? Mm-hmm. Well, rest assured, your memory will return in time. Though none of this really matters anymore. I, I should never have come back. Sorry, I... I thought I could right the ship. 
But you can't steer a ship in a squall. Mr. Bragg, you've been down before. You'll pull us all through. I know you will. Oh, Suzanne, my dear. I admire your optimism, but it's misplaced in me. This is, uh, well, it's just too big to keep quiet. I'm finished. No, Mr. Bragg, please, let's just go to the chapel. The, the storm's let up. The police are yes. on their way. To the chapel. Thank you. Go, now. I'm staying here. We can't leave you behind. It's not safe. Please. You know we all have to go. Everyone, Bragg included. Stop! Enough! This place belongs to me. And I belong to it. Now get the hell out of here. Mr. Bragg! Suzanne, stop. Come on. He's made up his mind. No. No! We gotta go now while we still can. Gordon, be careful with your charge. The right information at the wrong time can turn apples to sand. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to mean. Don't forget who's really responsible for all this. I believe I've made myself perfectly clear. Get the hell out of here and leave me alone. Just go. Why wouldn't Bragg want to come with us? He built this place. Would you be able to leave that behind? Oh, Jesus, look at that. Oh, God, it's awful. Christ, what happened here? What do we do to deserve this? Wait, we don't know what's out there. There was nothing out there before. Let's just go one at a time. You remember what Ted said? One of those things shows up, huh? move a fucking muscle.
I'll go first. Okay, I'm next. When I get to the other side, I'll give the signal. You next or am I? Okay. I'll go first then. This didn't have to happen. She could be alive right now. Father, cut it out. Now is not the time. Bragg, where is he? Bragg? He wouldn't listen to reason. Guess he wanted a front row seat for the end of the world. Oh, yes. Well, if Bragg had made up his mind, there's nothing on heaven or earth that would, would have changed it. Father Ted Mosley, I'm glad to meet another survivor. I can't believe she didn't make it. She was so close. Once she moved and caught its attention, there was no chance. I'm glad you made it back here. Not everyone has been so lucky today. The mythology I've been telling you about, the story of these things, I never knew how true it all was. This is not a disease. This is not a virus. This is a curse. There are more survivors holed up in the administration offices. They still think it's an infection. They have no idea what they're up against. 
They need our help. God damn it. Why, Suzanne? Why? I can't stand that she's gone. I'm sorry, David. I know she meant a lot to you. She was a good person. I've been so worried about each and every one of you. I warned Brack something like this could happen. I warned him there was something here on the mountain. An evil spirit, powerful. But he wouldn't listen. It's like what happened to the miners. What they did to each other to survive. When I was a missionary interacting with the native people, I'd hear these stories told with great conviction. But of course, back then, I only trusted in my own faith, so I dismissed them as mere superstition. Unsubstantiated campfire tales. They spoke of monsters that got inside of you. Monsters that fed on human flesh, insatiable, hungry, rapacious. They said the only way to elude the creatures was to remain perfectly still. But beyond that, there was no way to fend them off. They called them Wendigo. I never truly believed they were real. Until now. I'd advise everyone to get a little shut eye while we can. I'm sorry, if you'll excuse me for a moment. I need to think on my own. I think I'd prefer to be alone, not feeling myself. I need to rest. I'd advise you to do the same. I need some time to myself, maybe. Get some rest before the police arrive. down there. Please, stop. God damn it. Shooting into a crowd. Have you all lost your mind? Would you please come and help me? I'm so sorry. This... I'll be over soon. God forgive me. 